everybody, Jason here from Ghostbusters News, and today we're going to be taking a look at Hasbro's The Real Ghostbusters Fright Features Kenner Classics. And it goes without saying, but today's video, it is going to be a heavy nostalgia punch. Not only as I unbox each of the four figures, but also compare them next to their 35-year-old original counterparts. Now we're going to kick things off here with the brains of the Ghostbusters, Dr. Egon Spengler. But before we get to the figure, we got to talk about this retro card art. As much like the Kenner classics that came before it, while not identical to the ones from the 1980s, to the untrained eye or for the more common fan, these could certainly pass. Taking a look at the back of the card, each one is slightly different for each figure, featuring the individual Ghostbusters fright feature. You'll see here, and as you likely already know, Egon, his mouth opens in fright, as well as his tie, it pops up. Also in the line, rounding out the foursome, Peter Venkman, Ray Stans, and Winston Zeddemore. So when it comes to a retro figure like this, one that is modeled after a toy that came out over 35 years ago, uh, I find going into detail about it a little redundant because like 95% of the people that are watching this video, either they had one of these figures growing up or they still have one of these toys in their collection today. But with that said, I'm gonna provide a quick overview of each. Dr. Spengler here has his trademark blonde hair, no doubt a trendsetter of that era. On the back of his head, we've got a rat's tail and rounding back to the face, blue eyes and red glasses. Spengler is either showing his patriotism or his love for rocket pops, wearing this red, white and blue outfit. And when it comes to this toy, really it is remembered for one thing and that is the tie because these were known to break very, very easily. And I'll just say it right here, right now, I'm not gonna give it a stress test. I'm not gonna break this tie on camera. Uh, I'm just, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not gonna do it. Articulation is exactly what you remember being found in both the arms and the legs. And when it comes to Egon's fright feature, I mean, I was just talking about the tie, but to activate this, all you have to do is push in his left arm. Mouth opens, tie pops up, and the mechanism appears to work exactly as it did back in the late 80s. Each of the Fright features, they do include a couple of pack-ins, and with Egon here, first we've got this yellow ghost-busting gadget. It's recommended to be attached to his right hand and forearm, and then he also includes this ghoulish little specter, the sore throat ghost. This little guy is cast in a semi-translucent pink, and it adds to the play feature being able to get busted in Egon's accessory. All right, so now let's go ahead and do up our first comparison with the original on the left and the Kenner Classics on the right. And as I said earlier, the overall sculpt, Hasbro, they nailed it with these. However, the coloring, it is off. Having the two side by side, the changes between them are quite apparent. However, for the fan out there that may have owned the original back in the 80s and then sometime in the 90s, they, they sold it, you know, like at a yard sale or something, and then they picked this one up on store shelves, the Kenner Classics release, uh, it's gonna take them back to their childhood. I mean, this is a heavy-handed dose of nostalgia, and uh, it's a pretty awesome figure, too. Moving on here, we have got the mouth of the Ghostbusters, Dr. Peter Venkman. And just a quick look here at the packaging. Again, I always loved the presentation of these old Kenner real Ghostbusters figures. We got Peter there with his pack and accessories. And again, I'm gonna mention it. I love this retro art. And let me also add here, while I do really like this figure, both the original and the Kenner classics, Venkman's head sculpt, due to the way that his fright feature, it works, it's always given his face a ventriloquist vibe as well, in particular, this Kenner classics. I've heard a few people online say that he bears a strong resemblance to Tim Allen. And you know what? Y yeah, I, I, I can totally see that. Uh? When it comes to details on the face, he's got brown eyebrows and his pupils have been painted green. There's also some red paint in his mouth. We're gonna get to that right here in a second. But first, taking a look at his uniform, it's made up primarily of light and dark gray with this eye-catching yellow vest. Articulation here, much like Egon, is the exact same. The arms, the legs, they can move up and down. And in the same way, to activate Venkman's fright feature, we push the left arm in and seen here, his eyes, they bug out and his hair lifts up off his head. Uh? 
Accessory wise, he's got this blue ghost catching gadget that clips and pegs right onto his right arm and in the hand. And keeping with the blue, we've got this translucent ghost called Gruesome Twosome. That's right, this time around, you're getting two ghosts for the price of one. And adding to the play feature, it can be attached and hung off the tip of Venkman's gear accessory. Now comparison time, and I already alluded to it, I mentioned it with the Egon, uh, really for this entire line, the coloring here, it's a bit different when compared to the originals. It's not bad by any means, and I don't want to beat it to death here, but the sculpt for all these figures, Hasbro, they did a phenomenal job on. I just feel that unlike the previous Kenner classics, thus far, it's a lot easier to tell the originals from the new releases. It is now time for the heart of the Ghostbusters. Up next, we've got Dr. Ray Stance, and again, a quick look at that phenomenal card. I'm actually curious, those that are buying these, are you keeping them on card, or are you opening? Or for some of you, are you buying two sets, one to open, one to keep sealed? Comment down below, let us know. So getting Ray off that card here, uh, I'm just gonna say it right here, Ray was my favorite out of the Fright features when I was growing up. I love the flight suit, the ecto goggles on his head, the Ghostbusters t-shirt. Ah, this one is so good. Detail wise, and in staying true to that original figure, Ray has got some orange hair. I already mentioned the sculpted on ecto goggles and the suit here, it's kind of this khaki caramel brown with dark cyan accents. And then taking a look at the bottom of the figure, we do have uh, some dark gray knee pads and boots. Articulation again here, surprise, it's the exact same. However, the fright feature, instead of using his left arm, we're gonna push in his right. And when you do that, his hair and those ecto goggles, they lift up off his head and his ears, they protrude outwards. His packing accessory is similar to Egon's being this purple ghost grabber. Oh, and also the packing ghost here, it is our introduction of Jail Jaw. Cast in a semi-translucent orange with maybe a hint of red, this one carries on the trend and it can be held and caught by Ray's ghost grabber. Let me also mention that Ray, he's not only my favorite amongst these four figures, but Jail Jaw, he's gotta be a top tier packing ghost, at least in my opinion. Comparison time, I do feel like these two are a bit closer. There are some dead giveaways, which you've likely already noticed. And some of these giveaways, they include Hasbro's Kenner Classics release having larger eyes, a more refined no ghost logo on the shirt. It doesn't have that dark border around it. As well, this new one, it has a slightly more matte finish while the original one was glossy. Rounding out the foursome, we have got the everyman, Winston Zetamore. As well, amongst these four, the art on the card, uh, this is likely my favorite, with the packing ghost, the Scream Roller, really stealing the show here. Oh, and uh, also Winston going full-on exorcist. When it comes to his head, he's got black hair on top. While looking at his mouth, uh, it kind of makes him look like he's auditioning for the role of Lips Manless. My fellow Dick Tracy fans out there, I know, I know you got that reference. I've been waiting like 10 plus years to drop a, a Dick Tracy reference on this channel. Yeah. Carrying on here, outfit wise, he's rocking this gray uniform with yellow accents and boots along with purple gloves. Sounding like a broken record here, but articulation, it does mirror the other three. And like Ray, his fright feature is activated from his right arm. And in activating that fright feature, Winston's mouth, it just doesn't open. I mean, uh, yeah, just like as it showed on the card art, his head, it totally twists, it contorts around. While Ray may be my favorite out of the four, at least when it comes to his overall appearance, uh, I gotta say, fright feature wise, Winston is my favorite. Looking at his pack and accessory, we've got this green gadget, which I'm unsure if it's supposed to be one, but I've always thought of it as kind of like a mallet. And I did touch on this a little bit earlier, but also included is the Scream Roller Ghost. Made of orange translucent plastic, this little guy, it can either sit atop Winston's accessory piece, or best yet, his head. And just like I thought it would be, this final comparison here, it's pretty strong. That said though, there are some dead giveaways, uh, especially when activating Winston's Fright feature, as well the Kinner Toys inner plastic it matched Winston's skin tone, Hasbro's does not. When it comes to availability in the US, these figures, they're currently Target in-store exclusives until early April. 
outside the US, like here in Canada, they're at different retailers. In fact, I grabbed a set at my local GameStop, again, in Canada, not in the US. Also, in international markets, they have popped up on a number of different sites, including Zavi and Forbidden Planet. And while I usually provide links down below in the video's description on where you can buy these, uh, yeah, so far the release, it's been so scattered, I'm just gonna recommend you do an old school toy search for yourself. Now what I wanna know, are you or have you already picked up a set of these real Ghostbusters Fright Features Kenner Classics? Comment down below, let us know. With that said, that's all I've got for you for this one. As always, subscribe. If you'd like to join up with Ghostbusters news, check out our Patreon page. A link to that is down below. And we'll see you right back here next time. Hook and ladder company eight. Ghostbusters news is the keeper of the gate. Listen up, ghosts. Jason's here to see you your fate. After he gets all the day's updates off his plate. What do you do?